This is my second year while living in Weke village, a remote village located in North Sakwa. This area is quite attractive by its natural look. The topography of this land is quite attractive, quite amazing. What an area. The rains are of this area are quite predictable and therefore many farmers of this area always enjoy a good harvest. The green look is as a result of constant rain across the year. Cassava is the food of choice, the priority food crop here, and many people plant it for food and for sales. And in this home, sunflowers are grown for beauty, they are neither for cash crop nor for food. The soil here is very rich and can support their growth without adding any artificial supplement. The village is traversed by channels of waters. The springs very cold and permanent water bodies like rivers that never get dry. What a best conducive environment for life, the Weke village. After each rains. There are some small destructions that are left behind and we must correct. And today my farm has been swept by running waters. I must correct it. If there is something to be proud of, then it is the unpolluted environment of this village. The best conducive environment in human history. Not only humans enjoy this satisfying environment, but also birds of the air. The domestic animals are also the beneficiaries of this treasure. Life is not complete without food, and therefore, I'm compelled to research on food of this region, of this village. I'm going to revisit these olden days. So there is a special meal that we are going to prepare. I told you that I have a certain sardines. Uh, so today I want to prepare sardines in a traditional way. So my my sardines are here. Okay, this, these are the sardines I have. So I'm going to prepare sardines. Okay, this one will be for my supper. Okay, what do you see here? Okay, I think this one is enough. So this one is enough. So I hope you can see it. Okay. So I'm going to prepare it in a very local way. 
so my source of heat is here and uh, here is my pot we call it oigla walunge no oigla oigla ni ena gulu manejo machon tedo godo to negi tedo gi kwachalo ringo folo mena rech koro ni chwake yo oigla ni oigla ni kichwake chimo to wok ma mit kabisa you to do chimo mit and also this is the affordable way of cooking locally so today we are going to cook using oigla and there is a traditional source of heat okay you can see it there so what we are going to do is just to pour it inside here i hope you can see what i'm doing okay you see, you see that yeah so i poured it there and my source of heat is really very hot here mm -hmm. so my sardines are already inside my pot uh, and they are boiling very soon it will be ready and i'll prepare a very nice meal in the evening with it so this one we will eat with ugali okay so this is the traditional way of cooking sardines or cooking follow and chima metai I'm going to check, I'll show you. Just introduce right. my spices inside uh, this pot and they will soon mix up very well. My food is so delicious. Okay, let me now continue heating it so that my spices can also get ready. This dish is sourced from Lake Victoria, a freshwater lake in East Africa. Good people, the village is vast. Its exploration cannot end today. Welcome back next time. Kindly watch, like and share. Leave a nice comment. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Free Media Aterico.